Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'll be covering a question um, asked by Colston around um, creating shadowing effects now in Game Maker. So in my primitives video, I did explain that you could use the primitives to help generate some shadows. Now, um, Colston's trying to use blend modes to do this. Unfortunately, the way blend modes work, and if I bring up the chart, so oh, is it going to do it? Come on. Thank you. So if I bring up this lovely chart here that you guys can see, this is the Game Maker um, explanation of how blend modes work. So blend modes take two states. First of all, we need to have a primary and then a reset. And in the blend modes, you can see here, we've got blend zero, or blend one, source, color, invert. So there's, there's a few different combinations here. So depending on what you're trying to do, for example, you could take source alpha, which looks at the alpha of each of our values. And then we could add that to the um, destination alpha, for example. And that's using an advanced blend. Normally you would end up just using the basic three modes here. Oh, sorry, not, uh, did they actually, no. Um, if I can see it somewhere here. There's, there was originally three sets of the original values. Anyway, I'll just go down and kind of explain how to read this chart here. So if you're setting a blend mode, for example, if you set blend zero and blend zero, you'll get this result. So the idea is you move across and you work out, for example, a blend invert and a blend subtract. So if you have two images, this is what it will give you. So blend modes are very tricky. Even I still get confused with them. Um, and I'll definitely need to do a video and potentially explaining a bit more in depth. Um, but for what you're trying to achieve in your video, Colston, is... Um, a little bit more complex. Unfortunately, you have to use surfacing. And I've just found a very interesting bug, which I'll show you guys too, um, around this, and I have to work out why that's going on. But for all intents and purposes, I do have it working. So this is the original primitive video. Um, as you can see, I've got a new object called Lighting Engine, and I've got the player. The player still just moves based on the mouse. Um, the Lighting Engine, I'll show you guys, and the wall, I'll show you guys. But first, I'll run the program. And you'll see, I actually have this, um, what you'd call linear light shadowing, um, where the actual alpha of the object is non-interactive. So with a blend mode, for example, the alpha would blend together. So it would end up having a result of either zero or one, eventually, if you get enough sources onto it. Where with using a surface, because it all draws to a surface, and then you set the surface alpha, you'll get a more lineal color like this. And we can modify that, and I'm actually gonna show you guys how this works. So if you were producing a game where you would like a lineal sun movement across the game over time, you can see here as I move that in an arcing fashion, we actually get a nice kind of shadowing effect. And as you can see, if I move close to the shadows, we get the, be the expected behavior that I showed you guys. I've just shortened it a little bit. So how did we achieve this? I'm going to show you the wall object first, and you'll see the wall object's actually missing. It's um, alpha. That's oh, not alpha. It's a um, primitive function that I had created for it. The primitive function actually needs to be done, and this is part of why I wanted to have a bit more time to work with this because I'm still getting my head around some of the surface quirks again because it's been a while. But if I go to here, you can see I generate a surface called shadow. And under the draw event, I actually create the primitive. And I use a function in here, so I set my target for the surface. I clear the alpha and clear the black, which is important otherwise. Um, I'll show you guys what happens when we do it. Um, because surfaces are progressive, what will happen is you'll just eventually get a nice drawn color. So it's important to clear the function. Just pro tip there. Um, so the first thing I do is I use this function called with, and this will do it with all objects in. So this will draw all these ob all these primitives onto this surface, basically. And the beauty of the with function is it, it runs it almost in a weird state where it runs inside the other object. So you can see here, it's just going to do the standard primitive function that I've shown you guys. Um, then I reset the target, and then I draw out the surface there. Now, the other thing I have to do is also do another with and just do a draw self, which is important because otherwise the object is below. Normally, I would just set the depth, but for some 
reason, and I'll show you guys now, this, this is happening when I attempt to set the depth, and I don't know why it's happening, and I need to do some digging. If I move this object, and this could be purely my ignorance in Game Maker, up to here, boom, an error. I don't know why that's happening. Um, because basically, it's going to happen because the way Game Maker's changed how its depth reads, it might be trying to read itself before it does. It exists. Um, and I need to look in why that's happening. I might even need to send a bit of a help ticket to Game Maker themselves. Because if I do this and change this, which is the way I would normally do it, again, I get the same. Oh, you little bugger, make me a liar. It was giving me the error before, but it's still a bit unstable, so just be wary, you might see some bugs. Um, I'm hoping not. So, just a quick um, cap back to this then. So you can see here, if I set that to 1, so this is where we draw our surface, you'll see I get a nice hard shadow. And if I set this to, let's say, 2 or 3, um, I'll get a much softer shadow, which is what I'm guessing you're looking for in your video. Now, I'm going to put this this up um, into the Google Drive as well as a bit of a extension part to the question. Um, I do need to do some more work with um, shadowing in that because ultimately what I think you can do, but I need to play with it, is for example, we can have two surfaces that we can run the blend function and blend two surfaces together, which gives you your ultimate um, flexibility in what you're trying to do here. Just also bear a note, note when you're creating your shadows here, different objects may have different um, shadow cast points. This is not a be-all and end-all to the um, shadow drawing system. This was just a bit of a prototype. Um, so just bear in mind, if you have another object with different shadow points, just run another width in here and draw it in there. I know it will get long, but it will do the job that you're looking for. Um, everyone that comments and interacts with the channel, you guys make such a huge difference. Um, you have no clue. And I really enjoy producing this content for you guys, so it helps you guys develop what you're producing. So I just want to really say thank you again. Um, and yeah, I hope this explains how to do this. And if you have any other questions, please ask and I'll get to them as soon as I can. So have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later.